Hey guys, I'm about to get these messages out for you guys. As we can, as you can tell, we are dealing with karmic energy. So bear with me as I get these messages out. I don't care who I expose. It is what it is. Um, this is what we're doing is exposing people for who they are in, in 2021. And they will not be coming with us in 2022. And that's confirmation from my phone. So let's go ahead and continue into these messages. You are tapped in, collective. I have arrested development here. So am I possibly about to get arrested? <laughs> something happened in the autumn or something will be happening in the autumn. Somebody has a military mindset here. This bitch got a yeast infection. So there's a karmic that got a yeast infection. Your karmic put a hex on the twin on the twin flame journey so somebody a karmic um whether it be masculine or feminine they put a hex on the twin flame journey they put a spell on the twin flame journey and it could be this bitch that's affected with um a yeast infection drake you guys are saying there is no new friends i have industry baby little nas x they wasn't rooting for you Nothing real could be threatened. <laughs> you have integrity. It says integrity. The quality of being honest. Also having strong morals. Principles. You have more a moral compass. You have moral uprightness. So keep it up. Regardless of what the karmics are saying and doing. Remember what your purpose is. You're not going to be in your situation too much longer. <laughs> I promise you. You are being tested. What I tell you. You are being tested. Go after what you want, collective. You played pussy and got fucked. Somebody played pussy and got fucked. Just leave me alone. Someone is saying just leave me alone. You tried to play. You try, Somebody tried to play a star seed. Source loves you. Ten of Pentacles. Somebody is in a Ten of Pentacles energy here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Someone with the last name of Jones is here. And you say, this is none of my concern. You're not worried about this. You guys are healers. Someone named is Mika. Someone named is Robinson here. Somebody is in a salamander spirit. Um, it means immortality, rebirth, passion, and the ability to withstand flames. All of your secrets are exposed. Somebody's secrets are exposed. You have patience. <laughs> you have, you was chosen just for me. Somebody feel like you were just chosen for them. You create harmony. <laughs> no, sorry, guys. This shit funny as hell. Okay. Who people didn't learn how to put the alcohol down. That's all I got to say. Anyway, let's get these messages out. You got spirit babies that's here. Your spirit babies are communicating with you. Beautiful. Somebody going to prison, like behind bars. This is not spiritual prison, but this is somebody's going to jail, jail. I have angel number 222. You have new beginnings. You are a pathetic excuse of a human. You telling somebody this or somebody is telling you that. And there is a court case closed. And somebody think of you every morning. Somebody with um, the initials A is here. Somebody wants to heal together with you. Somebody with the last name of Bradley is here. Somebody is about to cash out, but look out for lurkers. They on the prowl. So you're about to cash out um, from all the hard work you've been putting in. But be on the prowl, be on the lookout because someone is on the prowl for your hard work from the from your money. For for your money. Somebody's really trying to come in, only coming in only for beneficial reasons. I got pimp C spirit here. So there could be a pimp that's coming into your energy. It could be. And someone framed you. Pimp C is saying someone framed. A practitioner. Yep, that's what he said. There could be a pimp that's in the energy, but Pimp C is also saying that someone framed a practitioner. 
you could be a practitioner. Uh, you could work in divinity. You could be a, card, a, a, tarot, a tarot card reader. You could read candles, you know, whatever that speaks to you as a practitioner. Um, someone um, tried to frame you. It could have possibly been a life partner. Or you have a life partner that's in your energy. Take it as it resonates. Okay, I have the second place, no point of return. So you have a life partner that could have tried to frame you that is stuck in a second place. So take that as it resonates. I have angel number 644 here. Keep a positive frame of mind and and an optimistic attitude to enable your angels to work their magic in your life. So regardless of whatever situation you're going through, take me, for example, tonight, as y'all can hear the calamity in my background, but I'm not going to let that take me from my higher vibration. I'm going to continue to get these messages out. I'm going to continue to serve my purpose and show you guys that we can overcome any obstacle that's, wrong, that's thrown our way because we are divinely protected and guided. Okay? <clears throat> Someone needs to meditate. And I'm possibly talking to the star. Let's see. I want to see who this um, life partner is for you guys. Who is this life partner? A Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. That's a, That could be a life partner. And this person is toxic. But you have healed. So let's get back to these messages. You have, there's a divine connection here. Somebody named Geraldine could be a part of a divine connection. Fuck what people think about you. And a question to whatever your answer is no. What is this no? Hold on. What is this no, divine? What is this no? stability here so you need to say no to a Taurus Virgo Capricorn thank you put these cards back in say no to a Taurus Capricorn Virgo all right if this person is trying to come back in your energy Because there are secrets in this connection or with this person. Yeah, and they wasn't rooting for you anyway. So, ain't no need for them to come around now, right? Cause, and there's a traveling hoe that's in your energy. <coughs> Her name could be Lily. Brown is in this connection. It's a throat baby in this connection. London Bridge has fallen down. So, that means there's a tower moment. A tower moment could have happened with a, a throat baby. Somebody named Lily and somebody named Brown could have went through could have went through a tower moment, or is about to go through a tower moment. They got witches in their family. Somebody's a gambler in your connection. Be careful; they are planning to kill you, rape you, and dump your body. Let's see what this energy is. I'm trying to see what cards I want to use. Let's use this. <clears throat> Spirit guys, who is this person that's trying to um, kill, rape, and dump um, the collective's body? Who is this energy collective? I mean, who is this energy, Spirit guides? And can we please ask for your protection, your guidance, your love, and your light as we deliver these messages from anything that's trying to stop us from um, delivering these messages to the Holy Spirit. We ask for your protection, your love, and your light as we got get these messages. Let me get a total of three cards, please, to see who this is. Holy Spirit, guys. Thank you. So someone see you as um, a gift with the Nine of Cups. Or seeing someone seeing someone else as a gift. Someone wants to offer you a pinnacle. Let's see. Someone in hangman. Let's see. Who is this? Oh, the star in reverse. So whoever this person is, uh, star in reverse. Um, this person wants to see you, wants to uh complain your rape, wants to dump your body and kill you. Let's get some more information. Yeah, it's about to be a message that's about to come out with the um page of cups. 
Be careful. Yeah, it's this Queen of Swords right here in reverse. She's trying to plot against you. She's trying to get you raped. She's trying to kill you and dump your body. This is a uh, um, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. And she's going to try to contact you with the Page of Wands in the reverse. But remember, this person is... um. What I want to say. Somebody doesn't, is not focused. Um, what I want to say. It. This person never finished through with their task. Um, they have problems starting, uh, starting new projects. You know what I'm saying? So even though this person is trying to come and kill you or trying to rape you and set this up, it's not going to work. The page of wands came in reverse. This is a person. This is a um, this is an immature person. Okay, here we go. This is an immature. This queen of swords in the reverse is an immature person. That's trying to come in. That's going to try to come in with you with a message. She's going to try to gift you with something. And going to try to have you in hangman, trying to get you throw you off your throw you off your perspective. In order for you to, in order for her to try to kill you, rape you, or get somebody to kill you, rape you, and dump your body. So if you got a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius that's in your um, energy field, if you know anybody of that energy, they trying to kill you. But you ain't worried about nothing. You just um stack, sitting back, stacking, stack, sitting back, stacking your pentacles, investing um your pentacles in your um endeavors or whatever that you're doing okay <clears throat> and let's get some, i just want to pull some more cards so you guys can see about this queen of swords can i get some more clarification on this queen of swords in reverse please spirit guides remember you win <clears throat> yeah and this person going through bad health Yeah, that person tried to sacrifice you. And that person is karmic as fuck. But it's mind over matter. Let's get some more cards before I move on. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. What I tell y'all, I can't make this shit up. I need to remember that. Um, someone tried to kill you, rape you. Let me pull this card out. So I'm going to make that the crowning of the read. Yeah, because you use your intuition. So they won't get away with it. They will not do this to you. You are protected. So let's pull these back. All right, let's continue to get these messages. Somebody named Elizabeth is here. Embrace the light. Or you are you are embracing the light. India Ari, the truth. Another <laughs> a truth card is in. Say he is the truth and he is so real and I love the way that he makes me feel. If <laughs> and if I something like that I can't think of how the song go right now, but if y'all know the India I read the truth song, that's a beautiful song. Especially to a masculine. I feel like a feminine is singing that to her masculine. Or and we could take this as what I just told y'all is the motherfucking truth. <laughs> Yeah, about somebody that's non-committal. <clears throat> but never settle. You never settle for less. Someone named Hopkins is here. Someone named Wayne is here. You have such a beautiful soul. Mm -hmm. The sun rays bright the sun rays brighten my path to everlasting abundance, most definitely. My uncle Jay is here guiding me with these messages. Thank you, Uncle Jay. I love you. Some, uh, you could be practicing Santeria or, yeah, because it didn't come in reverse. I feel like you could be practicing Santeria. It's nothing wrong with practicing Santeria as long as you do it in a good manner. Um, it's every individual has a destiny from God, a destiny fulfilled with the aid and energy of the Orishas. Yes, I welcome all my Orishas. I love my Orishas. I love my heritage. I love all my cultures from Cherokee to Buddha to um, African 
you know what I'm saying, even to my North um, bloodline. I represent all of the above. I represent them, and they are here standing up for me. So let's continue. And I and I know they're doing it for you, too. So someone is on heroin, heroin, or someone could be practicing Santeria that's on heroin. Take it as it resonates. Someone named Chantel is here. Uh, there's a mask on having unprotected sex. So let me clarify this card for you guys. <laughs> yeah, my leg. Hold on, let me stretch my leg out. All right. Yeah, I'm making it work. You know what I'm saying? It's how I get my new place. You know what I'm saying? And move, and um, and be in a better set um establishment. But for right now, I gotta do what I gotta do. So. But it ain't going to stop no show. Ain't, ain't no one monkey going to stop this show because we're going to send these messages out. Yeah, I got six of wands in the reverse. Someone, uh, a masculine who was having unprotected sex, um, they was having a hard time leaving that connection. Is what I'm getting with the six of wands. They um, wanted to, they, it seemed like they want to travel to uh, calmer waters, but they can't because someone is... Um, making it difficult for them to transition or they're making it hard for themselves to transition. Somebody's about to come in your energy, um, angry, um, very blunt, possibly wanting to fight. That's what I'm getting. So let's continue to see who is somebody who, who has a poverty like mindset. This masculine could have a poverty like mindset. They choose not to um swim to um calmer waters because something is holding them back. Maybe this person that's in this picture this hold uh, is it's a woman that's holding them back. I feel like what the woman is tall and he is short. And the reason he's not coming towards you because she's holding him back from something. But he's having unprotected sex with her, of course. And this could be a message about to come in, a harsh message about this about to come in. Yeah, because this person was dealing with a nine of pentacles in reverse. So this person, your masculine, is having unprotected sex with a nine of pentacles in reverse. Who has um they both have like probably like mindsets. She is holding something against him. That's why he's not moving forward with you. But he wants to offer you an ace of cups. But he's still having unprotected sex with a nine of, with a karmic that's in bad health. That could be a Taurus, uh, Virgo, Capricorn. What I tell you. <laughs> so let's get back to the messages. Sometimes you need bad days because it helps you truly appreciate the good ones. Bossy, boosy. What I'm saying though, y'all, even though like I'm going through what I'm going through now, uh, with this living situation, but I'm still appreciating, um, to be able to still read to you guys and still work through any difficulties that may come my way. There's a songwriter in your connection. Somebody named, this is somebody with the initial J is here, whether it be first name, last name, middle name. There ain't no army that, there ain't no army that has the ability to strike back because we are goons, assassins, and ain't nobody above uh, God's chosen assassins and I said we the goons assassins so <laughs> that's a new word <laughs> so yeah we are them goons we are them assassins we are coming through to represent to regulate to bring the way to show the way to shine that bright soul light to put to <laughs> to put holes all through your theories that's what we came to do the high priestess of divine feminine coming through on the ones and twos <laughs> let's get it y'all <laughs> Somebody named Gaines is here. A friend with dreads poisoned you, this slick bitch. Let's see who this uh person. Um, a friend with dreads poisoned you. Who is this person? I'm gonna pull tarot. I want to use my other deck. Yeah, we plays no games around here. We get in divine guidance to stay away from certain people. Spirit guides, who is this dread friend that pours in the collective? Who is this slick bitch? 
Mm. Someone was bored with an offer. Someone who had their heart broken. And someone won the four wands. I feel like that this is you healing collective. Who is this? You are manifesting with the queen of wands. You are divinely guided by your, your ancestors. You got you could be a fire sign, Aries Leo Sag. You are manifesting beautiful things. You are in hermit mode with the four, uh, four wands. You possibly was battered, bruised, and um, your heart felt like it's been ripped out. But you still hold on. With, and you and you just resting and nesting right now. But who is this? Who tried to poison the collective? Someone, someone had you, someone had a lot of options. What someone's option, one of their options could have poisoned you. Somebody in this five of cups energy. Someone walked away from a situation. This was somebody who walked away from a situation. Someone got their heart hurt. They felt like that. They wasted emotion, time, and love. What a connection. They're crying black tears here. So we know it's a female with dreads that tried to poison you. And this person possibly was hurt by the end of hurt by this person who kept you and another person in um what I want to say uh competition you possibly didn't know you was in competition but this person had you in competition with someone with dreads that broke this person hard they feel like once your person walked away from this person of five of cups they felt betrayed used and abused they felt like that they wasted all their cups for no reason they used all their cups for no reason they possibly thought it was a relationship was going to be there and it wasn't yeah he broke her heart she was giving offering him um an offer but he was bored with the offer because he had several options so I feel like that she felt like if she got you out the picture, she knew she was a side chick. She felt like if she got you out the picture, that she was going to be able to have him. But she should see that he already had more options. So what her trying to kill you did what? Only what? What, what? what? what did you get from that? But a broken heart. All that shit that you invested in, all them emotions, money, uh, uh, person people place things ideas whatever that you invested in is 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 unrequited love um you got your heart broken at the end of the day because that person never that person never wanted to be with you hmm. you did this to a queen of wands someone who didn't even deserve that and now that you um you poisoned this person now you're facing bad health that's what I'm getting. <clears throat> Let's, all right. So, so we know that this person, um, the only, the reason why they poisoned you is so they can take over your relationship. But, but your person, but your masculine didn't even want that person because he had other options. Hmm. Yeah. And this left this person confined confined, not knowing which way to go, stuck in their head. Someone is going through the two of swords, being indecisive, don't know which way to go. <laughs> Someone is going through a nine of swords. This karmic energy, just this karmic energy going through. Possibly got um a bunch of crows around trying to get them lost and stuck um, in their head, um, not able to sleep, depressed and agony, misery, possibly getting haunted at night. Spirits may be coming to visit them. 
and I'm possibly talking to a king of swords. Yeah. So let's go ahead and tap into these messages. Somebody got supernatural. Somebody got supernatural powers or magic for selfless purposes. So someone is using white magic, or they have natural abilities. Somebody named Sean is here. Somebody named Harville is here. Somebody got third. Somebody's uh, thirty eye, third eye chakra is open. <sighs> Somebody is faithful. Somebody has so much passion for you. Somebody is um, going through childhood trauma. Somebody experienced childhood trauma. Wink, wink. <laughs> go hard and play smart. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> uh, you on your way to the bag, though. You're not worried about anything. Everything is happening in divine timing. The universe is proud of you. Move closer to me, somebody's saying. Yeah, I'm talking to the poet. Somebody wants you to move closer to them. And the universe is proud of you. But somebody breath stank. There's a secret sex tape out here. I want to see who the secret, secret sex tape is. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I know. We finna get the truth. Who is this um, secret sex tape? Somebody fame. Somebody could be um, in fame or somebody has a, uh, um, a status. That, there we go. Somebody has a status could um, have a secret sex tape. And they saying that they're sorry. But you're divinely guided. Stay dedicated with all the information that you're about to find out. Yeah, this man whore has a secret sex tape. And the ascendant masters are here. And someone is saying, I wish I could take back the hands of time anymore. And someone that's a narc. But you're spiritual. Any more messages? Or whoever this who has a sex tape. You something, yeah, somebody did this um intentional. Somebody has a secret sex tape maybe they somebody's holding a secret sex tape intentionally again somebody will about a rapper so a rapper could be a part if there's a secret sex tape on a rapper that's a narc so it's a secret sex tape that's on a um rapper they holding it intentionally but you're spiritual and you're guided by the assistant masters ascended masters and this rapper could be a man whore or this rapper could be a female that has a sex tape who breath stinks. There's a narc here. Ophucus is here. Where's, I'm going to get my, there's been death and rebirth to a situation. What is this? Um, And spell work was done. Oh, so even though it's a sex tape that was out. Even though there's a sex tape that was out, somebody brought death and rebirth to a situation involving a rapper, and it was intentional. Whoever did this, they was a narc. They was very narcissistic. But you're spiritual. Yeah, and they did spell work on this person. But you have self-worth and self-love. Who is the sign of this um, sex tape secret? You see the bigger picture. What is the zodiac sign for this sex, sex tape, please? You need to meditate when you find this information out. It's a hustler. So we got a rapper, hustler, sex tape, narc, and somebody did this intentionally. And you could be a celebrity or your person could be a celebrity. A smelly karmic did this shit to your masculine. Anyone? Yeah, this doppelganger did that shit. So you got a doppelganger who has a sex tape with your masculine on it. And she did the shit intentionally to set him up. And someone needs to meditate after this. Stay focused. 
That's all we need to know about that. So we know that this sex tape um, was created under a karmic. Your person was under spell work when this, this sex tape was done. I feel like that your masculine brunk has uh, ended it with this karmic and she may be releasing this sex tape to the public. Let's see if this is true with the pendulinium. Will this Melly karmic release a sex tape towards about the masculine? Yeah, she wants to re release the sex tape out. Now, and that says yes. So let's ask another question. Will she be successful releasing the sex tape out? So she wants to release the sex tape out, but she will not be able to release it. It will not hit uh, social media. Thank you for your messages, spiritual guides. So let's go ahead and dig back into these messages. Let's put these back in there. I love how these cards is clarifying themselves. A skeleton key has been handed. You are connecting to the universe. Great job, collective. <coughs> Someone named Rico is here. There's a masculine that got an STD. Someone forgive you or you forgive someone. Somebody named Luciana is here. Hold on, guys. Okay. Breathe. Oxygen. You need to breathe when you find these messages out. You and your partner are the golden 